welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. All right, everyone. This is my second week update on my weigh-in, trying to get rid of those few pounds that I've gained from Christmas. That is my goal for the month of February. I'm trying to get back to about 135 is kind of like my happy maintaining goal weight. And I am doing so far so good. Second week was actually, I find a little bit tougher than my first week, to be honest. Um, I found that I was eating two meals, not that two meals a day is bad, but I was trying to do the OMAD and I felt that that was really helping because anytime that I do fasting, I find it really beneficial actually. I'm not that hungry throughout the day and I feel more energetic, I'm sleeping better and whenever I do incorporate fasting, I just overall feel 100% better. And this past week I was having my two meals a day. I was still fasting, but I was only fasting for about like 16 hours, um, which is still really good. But I like kind of between like the 18 and 20 hour mark for fasting. And like I've said previously, to get down to my goal weight um, last summer, last August, September, I actually was doing alternate day fasting where I was eating a regular two meals a day and then the next day I was fasting. And that seemed to really help as well too. It's just really beneficial and I feel so good when I do fasting. Um, so that was one thing that kind of changed this week, I must say, that I was eating two meals a day. Um, I was still staying within my calories and my net carbs and everything like that. However, I'm recording this on Valentine's Day and I'm going to post it today as well. But Jimmy and I went out on Friday night for um, a Valentine's Day supper. And I ended up having kind of like a couple of things that were off keto. So I had the garlic toast that was came with my meal, which I usually don't, but I treated myself. And I had everything else was the, st the same. I had, um, I get a steak with asparagus and some crab meat on top. I think it's called like Steak Neptune. I always get it from there from the beef eater. It's really, really good and it's all keto. And then I had the vegetables that came with it, which I believe was, they were red peppers and green beans, I believe. I never even took a picture because I just wanted to enjoy the supper and that was our Valentine's Day dinner. So we just kind of wanted to like have it just by ourselves and not worrying about recording or taking pictures of my meals. So I hope you guys understand. But um, I feel like that kind of caused a little bit of a water weight just because when you're eating out, you can't really gauge on the calories or what is exactly in those foods. And I did have one slice of garlic toast, which was not keto, right? Um, so I feel like that probably had something to do with this week's weigh-in. Um, it obviously wasn't horrible by any means, but um, you know, when you have a goal set, it's just kind of discouraging when it's not as much as you would hope as for a weigh-in or a loss for the week. So I will share with you guys my weigh-in that happened this morning. So as you can see, I lost 0.4 of a pound. So it's still a loss and I'm still really happy with that. Um, like I said, I feel like I have water weight. Um, that is definitely probably making the difference and eating out. Like I just ate, we just ate out on Friday and today is Sunday when I'm recording this. So I feel like that makes a difference as well too. So, but you know what? That's all right. I'm still happy with that and I still feel really, really good. And I think this week, let's talk about my goals going into this week. Okay. So I think I'm going to try to do the OMAD. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Or at least if I do the two meals a day, I kind of want to have my extended fast. So I wanted to have about 18 hours to do that extended fast instead of like cutting that kind of shorter. Um, but even like 18 hours is a really, really good intermittent fasting to do. So I think I'm going to kind of implement that and kind of be a little bit more strict and it's supposed to get warmer this week, you guys. So I think tomorrow is the last cold day. We're expecting a high of minus 15 degrees Celsius. But then after that, it's actually looking towards like a high of like minus six, a high of like zero. 
Um, this is all in Celsius degrees. So it's starting to get a lot nicer. So I really want to start walking. I feel like that is going to make a difference as well. And just be prepared. Um, I shared with you guys in my last video. Um, I will link that here. Um, it was a little grocery haul and it was my meal plan for the week. So I have everything all planned out. I have my groceries and I'm going to stick with that. Um, I'm really good at doing up a meal plan and sticking with that. So as long as I can get some meal prepping done tomorrow, I'm off all day tomorrow. So I want to get some of that done. And I feel like that really keeps me on track and makes me have a successful week. So that's one thing that I wanted to talk about as well in today's video is I want to talk about how being prepared is key in weight loss, okay? So you guys have heard me talk about this many times that preparation is key. And I would say out of everything that I have done, whether it be walking, intermittent fasting, drinking your water or anything like that, my number one thing to take away and what makes you successful with weight loss is preparation, you guys. Um, definitely, I've gotten a down pat. That was my one most important thing that I wanted to accomplish at the beginning of my weight loss journey and losing 107 pounds was to be prepared because I will tell you guys why it's so important and I'm sure you guys already know this. And my biggest thing is if I work a lot, um, I'm on the go a lot, I live 20 minutes outside of a major city um, and I do work about a 40, 45 hour a week outside the home. So for me, if I don't prepare, and let's say I run out of the house, I don't have anything prepared to take with me to work because I don't come home on my lunch break, um, I will go off the rails. And usually if I go off the rails for one meal, it's kind of setting the tone for the whole day. Unfortunately, I haven't got that down pat yet. Um, hopefully it's one thing that I can overcome. But that's just how I am. And I know that about myself right now. Um, so that's why I like to be prepared. So if I do go to work, wh wherever it may be, I always am prepared. I will take my meals with me because I don't want to go off the rails when I'm at work by eating fast food, um, eating out wherever, grabbing something that I'll regret later. And I also don't want to be ravenously hungry when I get home from work. So if I don't take something to work and I want to stay on track, I won't eat. I'll do like an extended, extended fast. I'll do an extended fast for a long time, but then I'll just get to the point where I'm just too hungry and I don't have anything prepared when I get home as far as a warm up meal. And I'll go for the, that bread. I'll make a sandwich. I'll make some toast, something or warm up a pizza pop or whatever is just easy and will be ready like now. <laughs> Because that's how I get when I get really, really hungry. So that's why I encourage you guys is to be prepared and do some meal prep. Even if it's just meal prepping your meat, just even meal prepping a little bit even will help you guys in the long run and will keep you staying on track. Because at least if you have the meat done, that's what takes kind of the longest, right? So if you're cooking chicken in the oven, that takes, you know, relatively almost an hour, right? Everything else like sides, I can usually come up with with something quick and easy, but it's the meat that will take a long time or else it's just even the process of thinking of what I wanna have for supper because then sometimes it's like, you know what? I don't have time. I'm way too hungry to even like make something healthy that I planned on having and I just get too hungry and I just have something that is there and that's ready, right? Um, so preparation is key, you guys. I would highly recommend working on that if you feel like you don't have meal prepping under control, meal planning as well too. I meal plan all of my meals throughout the week. I meal plan my family's meal throughout the week so that I know what I need to take out of the freezer the night before, groceries that I will need for the week and fresh produce that I will need for the week. Everything is just kind of in a list. I make my list of things that I wanna make and then I go out and buy my groceries and then I know what I'm having for supper tomorrow night. So for me, I already know what I'm having pretty much for next week, starting on Monday. I already know what I'm going to be having, what I'm gonna be making and what I need to take out of the freezer. So if that's one thing that you struggle with, I would really work on that. Um, I would start by making a list of foods that you have in the house. Uh, that's what Jimmy and I did. We made a list of things that I had in the freezer and in the pantry. 
and I have made my meal plans from that. There has been a few things that I've had to buy, but going from what items you already have in your freezer or in your pantry will definitely help you kind of be creative and figure out your meal plan. And then once you have your meal plan and get your groceries, then you can start doing your meal prep. So I usually do my meal prepping twice a week, depending on my schedule. Some meals I do make fresh because I know I will be home at a decent time in order for me to have enough time to make dinner. Um, so just going off of your schedule is what I would do and making the time to make your meals. And if you don't have that time to make your supper that night, then meal prep it. And then it's easy just to come home, throw that meal in the microwave and it'll be ready in a couple minutes, right? And that helps me tremendously, has helped me lose 107 pounds on keto and to keep me on track, right? So I wanna know how everybody else is doing. Um, how are you guys keeping on with the new year? We're already halfway through February already. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's almost gonna be March pretty soon. And that makes me excited because that's when the weather here in Canada starts getting nicer is usually around like March or April. So I'm excited for that. Um, this cold snap was really, really tough. Um, it was cold for like about a week and a half straight. Um, so I think everybody's just ready for a little bit of a break. And like I said, I want to get out there walking. I feel like walking, I only walk usually about 30 minutes a day or five or six days a week, but I feel like that even helps me and encourages myself to keep on going and to make it a successful day when I get out there and get some exercise and some fresh air. I don't know about you guys, but it really, really helps myself. Hopefully everybody has a fabulous Valentine's Day. Let me know what your guys' plans are or if you're staying on track or if you're having a non-keto day today for Valentine's Day. I hope some of these tips will help you guys to stay on track. Um, you know, it's tough. I feel like this January, February has been tough on a lot of people. I don't know if it's just the circumstances or the start of the new year or got off track at Christmas. Um, I think for me, it was kind of like a combination of things. And I think having those few days off at Christmas time kind of threw me for a loop. That was the longest time that I've had um, like non-keto, non-tracked foods was the course of those three or four days. And yeah, I'm still struggling into February here, uh, but you know what? It's only a short amount of time and it's mind over matter. And like I said, being prepared will help you guys a lot to do some meal prep and do some meal planning. And it is mind over matter. Once you set your mind that you wanna eat healthy, whether it's keto, Weight Watchers, or whatever you decide to do, it's mind over matter and just set your mind to it. And I know that you guys can do it. And if you have any questions or concerns, or anything else just let me know down below i'm happy to help i respond to everybody's comments so please make sure that you give me a comment and let me know how you're doing doing or what you're struggling with and then we can kind of talk about it all right you guys that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and make sure that you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and also make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.